This is your boy Dreamer from GotBetterBeats.com and we are here with another video and today I just want to show you guys some tips about you know some of the well it's more of a walkthrough but this will help you guys if you are trying to uh, you know get better with mixing two tracks to um, you know with vocals and getting the vocals to cut through without having to butcher the two track you know what I'm saying so so just some subtle things that that we can do um a good friend of mine he uh he wrote a verse for this song and he recorded it and he sent it to me he actually did a good job by not um by not recording too loud but uh whatever he's recording on it seems like I mean, he might have had some noisy preamps or maybe some feedback or something like that but i was a actually able to get past it um so i just want to give you some good tips and I hope you enjoyed this video. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing uh, you want to do is you want to make sure that you listen. And I know you, I know you think like duh, but you know, think about what you're listening for. And I'm going to show you the reason why that is so important. Because um, I had to, I had to actually go through and cut a lot of spaces out of some of you know some of these things because yeah because once i started compressing and bringing up volume and stuff like that i started to really get like you know the hiss you know the sound of, of his room the background i'm not sure if he had like you know maybe he had like a computer running right next to the mic you know i've had that issue before you know and with these condenser mics you know they pick up a lot so and what I'll do is I'll give you an example of me if I'm if I pretty much I don't know if you can see that, but as an audio engineer, a lot of times this right here is not your friend. <laughs> so let me play that so you can actually hear hear what that sounds like. And I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit because there's nothing there, but there's sound there. So, you know, not only do you hear the noise from the preamp, but you also hear, you know, like him actually getting ready for the, to record on the track. Um, and you, you and you also and you also hear the bleed from his headphones. So that's, you know, that's one of the things that that's one of the, you know, that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you, you know, you're paying attention to. All right, so so one of the ways you can actually kind of help with that is do a bit of a fade in, and and once because a lot of times you know you may get a little bit of bleed from the headphones. I know my my uh my recordings have not always been perfect, but you know these are the tips that's gonna help you get there. So after you listen. And you make the necessary cuts in the open spaces that, and, and make sure uh, a lot of times you, you kind of fade in and fade out where you need to. It's honestly good to do that on just about everything. So, so that way, you know, you don't have any clicks or pops or anything of that nature. So, so once you listen, you do your edits and your cuts, make sure that you got clean, a clean workspace. Um, one of the things that I normally do is I I group I group my um I group my vocals and you can actually break it down into like grouping it as far as lead vocals, background vocals, ad libs, different things like that. But for this particular for this particular walkthrough, what I did was I just did one primary um group. And what I did was I added on just a few different effects. Um, as you can see here on the stock EQ for Cubase, I rolled off uh, to about 105 because he has a, he, you know, he has a lot of low end resonance in his voice. And I really didn't want that taking up a lot of, uh, you know, space on the track. And I wanted to make sure that he, he, he's had, he has more clarity. You know, maybe if we were on a, at a radio station, 
you know, he was trying to get his podcast or R&B, Midnight Soul, Keith Sweat type sound. You can keep some of that low end in, but sometimes when you're rapping, you want to keep the presence, you know, in the low end. That way people can really hear what your voice sounds like, you know, in fullness. But sometimes at low, the sub low frequencies, you want to take those out. Um, I did a bit of a dip in the lower mids. And at the very top, I did I did a cut. The first one I did was frequency. And I did the same thing with um, that the sub frequencies. I took them out. Um, because you don't want, you don't, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's going to take up a lot of your headroom if you leave that in and dipped at 500 and just like pretty much probably like about two DB at 2K and maybe one DB at 200 just to add a little bit of that presence in the low mids. And these effects, these are external effects. Um, and it's actually not from hardware. This is from my new interface, the Zen Tour. So um, where I have I have them actually routed so I can actually use them for, you know, processing different things. As you can see, this is actually my voice right here going through. Um, going through effects. Let me just turn this up just a little bit. So, you know, I was just kind of messing around with that. And I'm going to do a review on this if, if you actually want to know a lot more about it. But so far, everything sounds pretty good. And do a slower attack or a medium attack on that. Okay. So um, I think we were on 9 and 10. Okay. So, so for his vocals, what I did was I put a um, BA31 mic preamp on. Um, it just, uh, the mic preamp actually added just character. It's not, it's not so much of a night and day difference. And what I'm going to do is I, I'll go ahead and play. I'll go ahead and play it. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of let me, um, take everything out and then every, add everything back in. I gotta get used to okay so let me bypass these and oh but I'm staying strong cause you kept your arms open I watch you opposing, cold hearted, frozen Stayed away from that, man, these people spirit towing Burdens, I don't need it, so I had to show them Perfect, how I treat them, love them from afar I keep working on myself Lord, I know I'm gonna be judged when it come to Okay, so as you can see, um, the the main difference that you do here is the Stay Levin compressor Um it just kind of it just kind of gives you a little bit more of a of a of a presence a little bit more a little, little bit of a, a thickness on the vocals and that's kind of what you want um and the the eqp 1a at the end the poltex style compressor i mean the eq i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't really do as much on that so i really don't have to have it i just kind of uh was experimenting on it but if you really need some high end and some low end boost that's smooth that's really what you want to go to. So the last, you know, the, the Paul tech, I really didn't do much with that. Um, some of the magic is with the, a little bit of the compressors that I have at the end. And I know you like, why do you have so many compressors? Um, mainly because I was just kind of experimenting. I started off with this one, the classic comp from T-Rex. Um, T-Rex has some, some great plugins. You don't really hear that much about them, but man, when I tell you like, I have, I have some good sounding plugins. Like when when you get to my master chain, you'll see what I'm saying. I have some 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 really dope stuff. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disengage this, and then I'll bring it in. And this is it, this is just honestly, it's not really adding a lot. It's just adding it's just adding just a you know, just a little bit of a thickness because as you see on the output, I actually have it kind of down negative two so i watch you opposing cold hearted frozen stayed away from that man these people spirit towing burdens i don't need it so i had to show them perfect 
and and when and when you hear it it's it's a very subtle but it adds it adds like a upfront sound to his voice so um but this one you you're definitely going to be able to hear the difference what i'm going to do is i'm going to start without it and then i'll kick it in and you'll be able to hear it Strong cuz you kept your arms open i watch you opposing cold-hearted frozen stayed away from that man these people spirit towing burdens i don't need it so i had to show them perfect how i treat them love them from afar i keep working on myself lord i know i'm gonna be judged when it come to death enemies i show them love i don't hold no grudge lord take it away if they ain't trying to take my life then god bless them okay heard them bash my name throwing dirt so as you can hear you know the compress the compressor from T-Rex, like I said, T-Rex has some dope plugins. Um, like this is a distressor style plugin. So if you do have a hardware unit or you have a distressor uh, style plugin, I think uh, Clive Audio makes one, UAD makes one. Uh, uh, I think Softube, they 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 have one that's licensed by Empirical Labs. But if you know if you know anything about the distressors, distressors are are very good compressors and they can they can kind of be more of a Swiss army knife of compression. You know, you can kind of get real different type of results. It was included with T-Rex and man, when I tell you like on on your drums, yeah. So, that would be another video. Okay. So so grouping, you know, so grouping my vocals with this stuff really just to kind of add some presence and just to shape the sound a little bit really helped. Um, that way when I got to my lead vocals, I really don't have to do as much. Strong cause you kept your arms open. I watch you opposing, cold-hearted, frozen, stayed away from that. So as you can see, oh well that's that's not the uh I'm on the wrong track. Okay, with this one. So on my on my lead, I really didn't have to do as much. Um and that's that's and that's kind of how I like to work. You know, that way, if I add in everything, uh, just kind of shape the sound and and add some compression on on, you know, my vocals as a group, I can kind of be more precise on what everything needs. So uh, on my lead vocal, I have the SSL Fusion EQ uh, just taken out some some EQ and I have the fat mode engaged. Uh, it just added a little bit of saturation which can be good sometimes it's, it's gonna have to add it added to taste and style and really just to kind of help my lead out what i did was i added in uh another compressor on my lead channels so i watch you opposing cold-hearted frozen and and that's the thing um because as you can see um i'm still you know on the output i'm still kind of kind of um compensating for the game you know just trying to make sure because i want it to be up front but i i'm not trying to make it so much louder than everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disengage the the violet eq and the opto and then i'll add them in so i watch you opposing cold-hearted frozen stayed away from that man these people spirit told me so I had to show what perfect How I treat them, love them from afar I keep working on myself Lord, I know I'm gonna be judged And and one of the, and one of the main things you'll actually see Is that this uh, this opto compression That's definitely where you're getting That, that nice upfront sound from so, I watch you opposing Cold-hearted, frozen Stayed away from that Man, these people spirit told me Burdens, I don't need it So I had to that's pretty much it on the vocals uh, as far as just to kind of give you like a basis. Uh, some of the magic happened on on the uh, on the two track. And the main thing that I had to do for the two track was I had to cut the lows out uh, with a filter. Um, so I had to just and also I had to pull down the shelf a little bit just to kind of just to kind of get right here without because if I would have went low pass all the way, you know, or the with the high pass filter all the way, you know, it would have really kind of killed the track. So I had to kind of just dip out some frequencies and 
be a little strategic. And also, I don't know if this is the E. Iosis. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this came with the Slate Digital Pack. And I had to do a little bit of a, a low end here. So as you can see, I just went low end crazy just to kind of really get that, you know, get it out. But one of the good things that I do like about this um, this EQ is that it has this earth feature. So if I turn the earth feature off, you know, it would have really killed the track. Let me uh, play it and solo it. So very subtle, but one of the things that you will see that if I if I turn off this EQ, you'll listen listen to the low end and how it kind of distorts when I turn off this EQ. So, you know, um, I guess when I was making this beat, I was just really kind of jamming out to it. I didn't, uh, I was not compensating for vocals at the time. And and I could have pulled the track out in, but honestly, I think that we deal with a lot of artists bringing in two tracks. So I wanted this video actually to be about how I could help you guys with the two track. So that's what I did with that. And some of the magic was was this guy right here. Like I I didn't do anything with the the other bands, but on the low band, I just kind of um, added just a, a really really light compression. And if you're listening to your phone, I'm pretty sure you probably didn't hear that. But if you have some decent headphones on, you can hear what that's affecting. So that, you know, so it was important for me to really get the low end right, because if if you don't get the low end right, it takes it takes so much of your headroom up. I think that's why, um, you know, there's this thing now where, you know, a lot of producers are saying that they'd rather just uh, put a transient uh, plug in on their 808 instead of using the kick and the 808 because they can get their music louder. So everybody is really kind of on this loudness war in their own way. I still love using the kick, though. I just have to turn it down and really, really get strategic on the mix. Um, but it's something about it's something about having that kick energy but uh and lastly um just to kind of add some roundness to the low end because i was taking a lot out you know having to shape and do a lot of stuff so i just added like one and a half db at 45 with the poltex style um eq and and this is actually from steinberg so this is actually new with cubase 13 um I haven't used it on a lot of sources yet, so right now I can't really tell you if it's the truth, but I know Steinberg normally makes some really good stuff, and I'll let you guys know in a future video if I continue to use it and what it sounds like. I'll go through I'll go through what I did on the master chain. It, it I really didn't do much. Um, sometimes it's really not good to master, but for the tutorial, I just did it just to kind of just see what what my loudness was. Um, let me disable all of these and and I'll play it. And then I'll um, enable everything. So I watch you opposing, cold hearted, frozen. Stayed away from that, man. These people spirit towing, burn. I don't need it, so I had to show them perfect. How I treat them, love them from afar. I keep working on myself. Lord, I know I'm gonna be judged when it come to death. Enemies, I show them love. I don't hold no grudge. Lord, take it away. If they ain't trying to take my life, then God bless them. Okay, heard them bash my name, throwing dirt on it daily. I just stay in my lane. And you okay, so 
And and one of the things that I'm noticing is that yes, there is a there is definitely a volume difference. Um, but one of the things if you're actually wondering like how your mix sounds like and your mixing skills, like because once you start to compress and especially when you start to limit and saturate and stuff like that, you're going to be bringing out a lot of different things. Start seeing what your mix sounds like before you add like those uh, finishing plugins on sometimes. That way you can kind of figure it out. Uh, that's what I had to do with this one uh, because without it, I'm hitting it about negative uh, six dB and the track actually still sounds pretty good. From there, man, these people spirit towing burdens. I don't need it, so I had to show them perfect. How I treat them, love them from a so you know. So, if I was to send this out to some, you know, another mix engineer or something like that, I do feel confident that you know, uh, maybe other than him asking for the track outs for the beat, if, if I do have it, because I know I had to uh, do a lot on that low end, so. Uh, let's let's go through these uh, plugins real quick on the master chain. Um, I'm using the Apogee Soft Limit. Uh, this is one of my favorite plugins. It's actually a, a free plugin as well. Um, I'm not even using the threshold, but I do love the. It's like a analog style saturation that I get. Um, normally, normally you can turn up the, the 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 limiting threshold, but I'm actually not doing that right now. But if you want to know what that sounds like, let's let's uh, experiment a little bit. I watch you opposing, cold hearted, frozen. Stayed away from that, man. These people spirit towing burdens. I don't need it, so I had to show them perfect. How I treat them, love them from afar. I keep working on myself. Lord, I know I'm gonna be judged when it come to death. Enemies, I show them love. I don't hold no grudge. Lord, take it away. If they ain't trying to take my life, then God bless them. Okay, heard them bash my name, throwing dirt on it daily. I just stay in my lane. And you the Lord of them. So, honestly, you could really get a, a, a <laughs> an amazing sound out of this very well made plugin. I'm serving, clean me up, all the dirt, father be, be my detergent. When I'm feeling like I'm stuck, take the pain when I'm hurting. It's the good fight now, I push right now. It's all God's love if your question is how. I did it, admit it, I do. Thank you for change, I grew. Lord, you carried me through. Now I'm on heavy pursuit. So, but I didn't, you know, I didn't add um, that I didn't add the soft limit on there because, you know, sometimes if you add saturation elements in, in your beat and then you add more saturation on the finish, you know, sometimes it can get it can get to be a little bit of over overbearing. And this is another T-Rex plug in. Like I told you, I, you know, T-Rex actually has some sauce and this is almost like. This is a master and processor, so it's like one of those kind of like all in one type finisher plugins. You're definitely going to hear a volume change in this. So let's let's play it and hear what it sounds like. Strong because you kept your arms open. I watch you opposing, cold hearted, frozen. Stayed away from that, man. These people spirit towing burdens. I don't need it, so I had to show them perfect. How I treat them, love them from afar. I keep working on myself. Lord, I know I'm going to be judged when it come to death. Enemies, I show them love. I don't hold no group. So that actually sounds it actually sounds really good. And with this, uh, I have another frequency plugin from Steinberg. Um, really nice plugin. What I did was... I added a low cut and just a little bit of a bump just to kind of get that low end back gradually and a little bit of a bump at 2K. And that was it. And other than that, I just added on a um added on a on a limiter and just just tapping the threshold just a little bit. Brush, Lord, take it away. If they ain't trying to take my life, then God bless them. Okay, heard them bash my name, throwing dirt on it daily. I just stay in my lane, and you the Lord that I'm serving. Clean me up. So, so as you can see, like with the limiter, I really didn't, I really didn't try to smash it because I'm already really getting like the loudness that I want to get. I didn't want to kill the dynamics. 
Ball the dirt, father be my detergent When I'm feeling like I'm stuck, take the pain when I'm hurting It's the good fight now, I push right now It's all God's love if your question is how I did it in Cause as you can see, like I'm at like negative eight something with the loudness and I didn't have to smash it with the limiter. So that's always a good place to be. Um, because sometimes, you know, sometimes you, you, you want your music to breathe a little bit. And and when I hear when I listen to some of my amateur work, I definitely appreciate that I am much better now. <laughs> and uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you have any questions down below, if I breezed over something and didn't elaborate, leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video.